Shi from OG Creations here. I was recently cleaning out my garage and I found some neon yellow RET dye that I had bought right before the pandemic. The issue is I don't really like RET dye. I don't think it keeps the color very well. But since I bought it, I'm going to use it and you're here for the journey. Today we're going to make a hoodie and a t-shirt with it. I'm starting with random bullseye pattern all over this hoodie. And though I didn't film it, I do the exact same thing on the t-shirt. Once I think it's completely tied up, I'm taking it up to the stock pot. Following the instructions on the bottle, you get your water to about 150 to 160 degrees, add the liquid dye and a little bit of dish soap to it, you simmer it, and then you throw your shit in. I did that, but I played with it a little bit. I let it soak for like three times the amount that I was supposed to. I pour out the liquid and I'm okay with the final result. It's not as bright as I thought it was going to be, and it's definitely not as bright as Lemon Yellow through Dharma. So I thought, let's crumple this up, throw some Dharma dyes on top, and see what the final result would look like. So once I was in my studio and I was trying to pick what colors I was going to put on top, I looked down and had this huge 90s flashback. I'm not going to tell you what I'm trying to copy, I'll let you try to figure that one out when you see the final product. Here I'm adding turquoise and watermelon on top of that neon yellow. Once I think I have enough color in here, I'm going to let them sit for 24 to 48 hours. Time to rinse these cuties off, throw them in the wash for a couple of cycles, dry them up, and they'll be ready to go. Are you scared, Liz Burr? Because these Jawbreaker inspired tops are effing killer. Just look at them. I post new content every Friday, so make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you would like to see created next. <laughs>